guys, happy Friday. I always say happy whatever day of the week it is. I don't know the better way to greet you, but um, might as well greet you with a happy Friday because it is Friday, yay. Um, welcome, and I know I have some brand new viewers here, uh, people on my page because I've had quite a few people who are new stopping by probably from the Living and Active Challenge. And so um, I'll wait a second as I build an audience side note. There is some major construction going on on the front of my street right now, <laughs> like literally in the front of my window. And so I hope, I'm hoping that you're not gonna hear a ton of extra construction noise, but you might. And if that's the case, then that's the case. I shut the, the blinds. These guys are probably would watch me in here being like, what is this girl, who is she talking to? Anyways, um, so welcome. I wanna get right to it, because I know you have a lot to do. I have a lot still yet to finish before the weekend starts. But I want to just give you this Facebook Live. I wanna, I promised you guys this yesterday, this is gonna be a regular part of the challenge, is I'll hop on probably once a week, is probably pretty reasonable for me to address kind of specific things for each week and just what I'd like to share with you. But real quick, for those of you who are new here to my page or to my blog, my name is Claire Smith. I am a fitness trainer, I'm a trainer. I am kind of a health coach, if you will, and uh, a mom, a wife, and a friend who's very involved in the local church and the group of people that I have here that I can touch. But my heart and my ministry and my passion is for those of you who are joining me here on this page. And so you can find me on Instagram, Claire Smith Official as well, or you can follow me here. You can follow me on my blog, clairesmith.me. Um, I'm just kind of popping wherever I can. Okay, so that's a little bit about me. I'm sure one of these days maybe we could talk. Sorry, I'm adjusting this. We could we could talk more specifically if you had questions about me, but yeah, you don't care about me. Let's be honest. <laughs> we care about the Living and Active Challenge. I don't know if that's reverse or not, but okay. So we're going to go ahead and, and get right into this um, about the challenge and maybe some of the questions that you might have. And I want you to remember those. And, and if you want, you can go ahead and start populating them down here. That's totally fine. Hey, Jen. Jen, texting you earlier and now you're here. <laughs> um, or you can leave a message later. I will pop on and let you know. My house is <laughs> like it's gonna fall apart right now okay so sorry I guess that this construction's killing me here my son said this morning mom the house is shaking so um not exactly sure what's going on out there do you guys hear that okay <laughs> so anyways something happens to me you guys get to see it live all right um the challenge is this is my sixth year of doing the challenge and um it started real quick just to let you know, when I started my blog, I'll have seven years in January, will be my seven year blog anniversary. And when I started this um, blog, I don't know, I wanted to do a challenge just to kind of try something new. And it has grown into what it is today. And it was basically started from Hebrews 4.12, which is saying that the word of God is living and active. And I am very, very passionate about God's word. This is my Bible, one of them, which I did get a new Bible this year. This one was falling apart quite a bit. Um, and so I knew that, that God's word is the key component that mixed with prayer and the Holy Spirit and success in any part of life, right? So it's not just, you know, your spiritual life per se, but anything that flows from that. And in the health and fitness community, um, and, and health and fitness always being something that I feel God has just given me a passion for and a love for um, since I've been young, and I can tell you about my testimony at, a, at another time, but he, he's merged those two worlds for me. Um, I, I came to know the Lord when I was in elementary school in fifth grade, and honestly, that passion and that fire has never left me by the grace of God. And so I do believe that he's intentionally merged these two passions of mine and then given me this love of people and this ability and opportunity to come and minister to you guys online uh, for this time and for this generation. And so when I was thinking about the Living and Active Challenge when I was starting it, um, it was just like, you know, God, 
how can I how can I merge these messages because it wasn't something out there a lot that people were talking about and so anyways this is this is where we're at guys we're at year six of it and it's just a blessing to me you guys I just want you to know that you are such a blessing um, I get so many amazing emails and testimonies during this and after this it brings me to tears every single time I read them I'm so humbled by it and so thankful to God for this opportunity so I want to just shoot out the gate just by saying thank you for being amazing and for being the people that you guys are and and be willing to put yourself out there and doing this challenge okay so so yes it's a five-week challenge working on two disciplines and that's the discipline of exercise and the discipline of scripture memory now both of those things are hard the word discipline in itself should just be a trigger that says yeah the average Joe is probably gonna struggle with that a little bit because disciplines are just a difficult thing especially in this society and maybe perhaps the United States I don't know if it would just be a cultural thing but for us to be able to discipline our mind body and soul that really takes some focus and some effort and so this challenge is going to be combining those two things we're not heavily focused on the food aspect although there is a nutritional component that I am I added last year that we're going to continue on for this year um, there is a nutritional component that's important I could do a whole nother challenge just on eating because that's a lot in itself um, and then accountability and having a friend or two or three or a small group to walk with you in these five weeks is so important it's what your homework is for week number one <laughs> okay you have to have some friends and some people so that is kind of the premise and this is just generally life guys I mean you have to have accountability in life um, you know I know it gets a little tricky and hairy at times with friends and people getting in your business but the honest truth is we're sharper and we're better with other people and so that's why we have accountability as well so this is the training guide now first right off the bat you do not have to have this number one you do not have to have this this is just an additional tool so if you don't want to go online and print off all the material and have it kind of separate you you can purchase this off of Amazon okay anywhere they run promos I don't get to control that they run promos for like between 10 and 12 bucks on on what it is and it's basic it's nothing extensive I'm sure I'll grow on this actually considering about changing it up a little bit maybe for next year but um, it also has some additional workouts and some recipes and tips so it's just a little guide it's nothing major but you don't have to have it so I want to kind of shoot off the gate and let you guys know that because that's one of the first questions people ask me um, I will let you know or actually I will post on Sunday the material that everybody will need to know if you don't have this okay so on Sunday I will go ahead and I will post all that stuff and you can print those things off um, at your own leisure and then you will have them and then it will be up there okay so that's that's number one um, let's see number two people always ask me about signing up do you have an official sign up for this Claire not officially the only thing I tell you to do is to join my email subscriber list that's the only thing I tell you to do because um, you're pretty you're going to get emails no matter what I I can't control what you see in your Facebook feed or your Instagram feed or on Pinterest but for the most part if you're gonna get an email from me it's gonna be in your spam or your inbox so that's the only thing that you need to do to sign up is just to make sure you get those emails other than that there's nothing really now there is something called a check-in and that is very different and don't worry I will tell you all about the check-ins when you need to know but that's how you're gonna know if you are qualified for the grand prize packages that we have every week you will come back to my blog clairesmith.me and you will check in on a document with letting me know did you did you do your exercise did you have your scripture memory um, do you have any questions what are your struggles etc etc what's your name where's your state and so that's our check-in and that happens every single week that you have to do if you want to be uh, qualified for the package the grand prize packages if you don't care about that and you don't really want to check in that is totally fine with me okay so that is something to be said for the check-in again we will have new information on that um, 
We have an accountability group on Facebook. Last year we started that. My friend Holly, who lives locally to me, is so awesome. Amazing testimony personally with health and losing weight and just changing from the inside out. She leads that group for me on Facebook. I will post the link after underneath in these comments. I also actually have it, I just posted it earlier today. And so I have an accountability Facebook group that is free. So if you're on Facebook and you're like, I would like to do the challenge, I don't have a partner, or I just kind of want to be with everybody else. Like this morning or two hours ago, I think there was already like 75 people in it. So I'll make sure that I post a link to that and I have it probably in a blog post as well. Um, so feel free to join that. Um, the next thing, I know I'm just shooting right through these guys. The next thing is people ask, is there um, an eating portion to it, which I kind of just, just touched on a bit. There are no eating plans. There's nothing for you to print off and prepare for Monday as far as eating goes. Um, again, every week I'm gonna give you a pretty broad and general idea of something I'd like you to shoot for in regards to nutrition. But as far as something very specific for you to plan on, I am not doing that, okay? That's not, that's something I feel is very, very individualized and that's something I work with one-on-one -on -one with my coaching clients. So if you're interested in something like that, we can talk through that and you can hire me on that basis. But for this challenge, um, number one, it's not really a primarily a, a food challenge anyways. Um, but it's just such a broad area that I don't have eating plans. But that doesn't mean that you can't find one that you've been really wanting to try and implement it starting Monday, right? So if there's like a, you know, the 21, you know, or sugar detox, I think is one of them. Or if you just wanna do a basic clean eating challenge, or if you wanna go online and Google something and find a plan that you really like, by all means, do so. You have that flexibility. Or you can just focus on the two disciplines that we're working on, okay? It's just your challenge. I'm just giving you some very broad strokes, if that makes sense, broad things, and then I want you to kinda narrow in on those, all right? Um, scripture memorization. We'll dive a little bit more into this uh, probably next week. I'll write a blog post about it and such. But in the guide and online, every week there is one specific scripture memory that I have tied, or actually I have two, tied to each week. And you only have to do one a week, okay? But I'm going to give you a lot of options. I want you to have options and I want you to see what God's word, what truth says in your life. And it's so important for us to have that. And scripture memory is one way that we just continue to resist anything that Satan has coming at us. And it's just a way that we have self-talk. We talk to ourselves more than anyone else talks to us, yeah? So we have to make sure that the things that we're saying to ourselves is true. Now, how are you gonna know that if you're actually not reading truth? And you can read it, but that doesn't mean that you actually know it and it's like in here, right? Well, I want to help you do that and I want to help you have those tools. So while we're working on some disciplines, we might as well do the discipline of scripture memorization. Now, last year, for those of you who had been coming and doing this challenge for a while, uh, we actually memorized Psalm 16. We, had, we memorized a chapter, uh, which was hard. <laughs> it was difficult sometimes because if you have five weeks and say you have 11 verses, you're doubling up there a little bit, right? Um, this year I have a new passage. So we have a lot of options. We have, you know, two scripture memory verses that are in the basic format. Um, you could totally do Psalm 16 again. I can put that back up. I love that passage. This year I wanted to go into the New Testament. So for those of you who are ready for something new in the scripture memory, it's Romans 8, and we're going to do Romans 8, 5 through, I think we're going to do 5 through 10, okay? I don't think I'm including 11. I'll let you know. So that's what we're going to do, and it's life through the Spirit. And actually, it's a very solid verse that I started in year one um, as one of the premises of the Living and Active Challenge. And boy, every week I'm going to have something to tell you and talk to you about 
um, the scripture memory there. So that's probably going to be my Facebook lives are going to be built off of Romans 8. And so I'm really excited just to memorize that specific passage. So it's not a full chapter, but it's a very important passage that I feel we need to correlate between um, our fleshly bodies here, which is real, and then living a life in the spirit, okay? So that's just a little promo, a preview for those of you who are interested in that. Okay, um, those are the basics. I think I got all the like little specific things. I just wanna touch on a few other things and then I'm gonna answer your questions after that. Um, what to expect? What can I expect from this challenge, Claire, if I've never done this before? Well, you can expect a few things. You can expect to feel a little nervous and apprehensive. You can expect to be like, I, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Are you telling me that I have five weeks to do this? You're telling me I need to commit to this? Well, here's what I'm telling you to do. I'm telling you to commit to every day for its own. I'm telling you to wake up and give me your best for that specific day. The truth is, I don't know what the rest of the five weeks for my life is gonna look like, and neither do you. Neither of us have this magic crystal ball that says, yep, you're gonna be able to charge right through the next five weeks of the Living in Active Challenge. Boy, we're gonna hope to, and we're going to persevere, and we're going to do all these specific things that are, you know, help us get to our goal. But if you're gonna have a lot of anxiety and fear about not being able to complete this challenge before you've even started the challenge, then you're probably going to defeat yourself <laughs> right out of the gate. So what I want you to do is take it day by day, day by day, and that's gonna be our week two emphasis, and, and we'll talk through that, okay? So you can expect to feel a little nervous and like, I don't know if I'm cut out for this, um, and you should not fear finishing. You should not fear that. I don't want you to look ahead five weeks. I promise you, I do not want you to do that. All right. The Lord tells us not to live in tomorrow. And so many times we start these challenges and we've shot ourselves in the foot before we've even started. Okay. So I just want you to know, I want you to take it day by day. Cause the truth is, I don't know what my next five weeks look like either. And I'm doing this challenge with you. So we may have some issues as far as that goes. Okay. Um, you will get out of this what you put into it, all right? You will get out of this challenge what you put into it. So if you're kind of like, yeah, I'll try it, I'll try it. And if it gets a little difficult, no, big, no biggie or whatever. I mean, that's fine if that's what you wanna do, but just, let, just to let you know, you'll probably get out, get out of it partial results, okay? But if you go into this and say, Claire, to the best of my ability that I know that I can do, um, I'm giving it my all. I assure you, you will get your all back, okay? You will get that type of reward. And there's going to be hard times in this challenge that you're gonna want to give up. I'll tell you it's about week two or three because my numbers start to drop on the check-ins. <laughs> everyone, week one, man, everyone is so strong and fantastic. But then around week two and week three, people are kind of like, ah, and I think that's where the doubt creeps in and that's where, you know, life happens and we'll talk about that too. Things happen in life that you cannot prepare, you know, and, and expect. Last year, uh, a sweet reader of mine ended up getting pregnant in the middle of it. And so she was not feeling great in the first couple weeks and couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure out her motivation and come to find out she was pregnant. So um, that was super special that she was able to have that sweet baby, um, obviously nine months later. So anyways, you will get out what you put in, okay? Um, you will probably doubt yourself if you can do this, kind of going back to that expectation of nervousness and I don't know if I can do this. You're going to have some doubts. All right, it's okay, we're all in this together. I'm here to coach you along, this is what I do. This is what I do, you have me now um, to help you through this, okay? Um, if you've done this and quit in the past, I, I see that often. Oh, I, I tried this last year and then blank, you know, happened. I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad that you're like, let's try this again. Um, again, life does happen. I, I'm not gonna take that away from anyone. Life does happen. And there are situations where you just have to shelve this. This challenge may not be for you in this particular season of life. There's nothing wrong with that. I come back usually every year and do this, and then you can kind of do it on your own too if you would like to. So if you've quit before and you're back, 
thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, the final thing I want to tell you is this. There is nothing magical about me or about this challenge. There is nothing about this that's just all of a sudden going to make you hit your goal weight. It's not like, oh, that Claire Smith, that living and active challenge, it's going to get you there. It's, it's for sure. It's amazing. I'm not magical. There is nothing that I'm going to tell you that you're going to just be like, oh my word, I hit it. Or the living and active challenge changed my life. Um, not necessarily. Nothing's magical about it. It is the work that you put into it. So I'm just gonna come out the gate and tell you that it's going to be, again, what you put into it is what you're gonna get out of it. There's nothing special about my like little special touch that's going to you know, make you all of a sudden hit your weight loss goals. Now, I hope that I'm able to motivate you and, and speak to your heart. I do believe that the Lord will use me in that way. And I do believe that the Holy Spirit will empower you as you walk through this journey, as you move along. Um, but there's nothing magical about this. There, there really isn't. And so I don't want you to be like, yes, the living and active challenge and this is going to be amazing. It may or may not be. It's really kind of the balls in your court. All right. And so that's kind of like intimidating to some people, but to the other people that are going to go for it, it's very empowering. It's like, oh yeah, let's get this thing done. Okay. So those are kind of some of the basic things I want to just quickly tell you about, about the challenge. Now I would like to answer your questions because I'm sure that you will have some. Um, and if you have some, if you're listening to this broadcast after, which I'm sure I'll have lots of people doing, um, then just leave your question below and throughout the weekend, I'm gonna come back around and try to answer those specifically in some way, okay? Also, share this with a friend. If you have not found a friend yet, share it with a friend, put it on Facebook, tag somebody in this who you think would find this helpful. And listen, I'm gonna also say this. If you actually are like, Claire, I don't need a challenge. I'm actually doing pretty good in both areas of life, exercise and my walk with the Lord. You know what? Maybe this is the Lord asking you to lead a group of women to come around and be their cheerleader and their encourager and say, hey, let's do this. Rally them up a little bit and say, I'm going to help you guys. We're going to walk through this and I'm going to be here in the flesh to walk with you and help you out. So for some of you, maybe that's your piece to this puzzle. I would love that actually, <laughs> if you guys were able to do that. So maybe you don't need this personally, but maybe someone else needs you. Okay. All right. So if you have any questions, I'm going to start scrolling up on some of these questions. If you have any questions, leave them here. Um, hi, hello, hello. Um, what if you've never done scripture memory? Hey, I am so glad that you're going to be doing it with us. I think that's okay. I'm going, Nikki, I'm going to um, give you a blog post with some tips on how to memorize. There's also some really cool apps that you can use that's going to help you um, kind of do the scripture memorization. Um, gosh, I feel like I could do a whole nother Facebook Live on scripture memory, honestly. But let me just tell you that it will take a little effort. I mean, I'm not going to say that you're just going to read it and you're going to be like, oh, I remember it all of a sudden. Um, but I'm also, you know, we all have a lot in our heads going on and we forget a lot of things. But I also will say we remember things that are important to us. Like there are so many songs that you could like just repeat the lyrics. That's essentially what scripture is. I always look at it like a song from God to me. And so I kind of chant it like that. Um, and so, you know, scripture memory can be a little daunting but it's so very important and um, we're gonna walk through it together. We're gonna walk through it together and you don't have to nail it out of the gate, um, but it's such an important discipline. And even if over the next five weeks you memorize one out of the five or two out of the five, that's so amazing. You're hiding God's word in your heart, okay? So, and the other cool thing is that you can invite your family. Goodness, I have so many cool testimonies of people who are like, we sit around at the table, Claire, and we've done the memory verse for the week. Or um, I was teaching my sixth grade class of whatever, and we're all doing the verse with you. It's awesome, like, to have teamwork. And so I want you to think bigger even at that. Okay. All right. Any questions, anybody? I don't see any questions on here. You guys are awfully quiet today. Is it because it's Friday? Is it because you hear my house falling apart in front? It's shaking again. <laughs> Let's see. I don't even think I have anything else for once in my life. I don't know the exact day of the week I'll do Facebook Live. Maybe Fridays might be my day. You are welcome, Nikki. Very welcome. 
Um, okay, well, I will leave the link. Oh, hey, Jen. Jen says, just make a choice to change your mindset and make a decision to follow through to a better you. And it's life changing. Amen. And Jen has personal testimony to that that we're going to share one of these days. So thank you for that word. Um, yeah, I'll put the Facebook link for the accountability group below, or you can find it on another post. If you have any other questions, go ahead and put those below. You can purchase the training guide off of Amazon. If you're prying, you'll get it in two days. Um, what's the scripture that was said? Which one? <laughs> I probably feel like I took, I did a lot. Romans 8, 5 through 11 is going to be our new passage if you've never, or if you've done this for six years. Um, but I talked about hiding God's word in our heart. Hebrews 4.12, living and active. I'm not sure. Are the workouts the same as the previous years? I would love to see new ones. They are at this point. Um, however, I give lots of resources, and I'm going to add that this year, a resource page of people, that's not me, um, who actually do awesome workouts either for free or a small fee. And so you don't have to do the workouts that I have suggested, not one bit. You can continue doing what you're doing or figure out some other combination. I just have those there for other people. Unfortunately, guys, I've not really put the focus and effort, um, emphasis on creating new workouts lately just because I feel like other people are doing it and it's just harder for me to create routines. Although last night I was in Pilates class and I did one of my old YouTubes. It was so fun and I'm like, I need to go back to creating choreography to routines and I don't know. So maybe, maybe I'll try to get one or two new songs in there. So will you get the exercise goals in the email? Yeah, goals is in just exercise ideas. Yes, that will all come out on Sunday. My goal is to have that sent out on Sunday. So, oh, Beth, you like my workouts. You are sweet. See, I just feel like I'm just regular Joe Schmo out there. Like that there's so many other amazing workout people that why do we need one from Claire Smith? <laughs> but um, I love it. I still love group fitness and working out. That's why I still teach my classes. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, all that stuff's going to come in your emails. And if not, you guys just email me right away and you'll find I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. So, okay. Any other questions here? I think we're good to go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being on here. And I cannot wait. Look for um, your email come to come on Sunday. And then we're going to get this party started Monday. And maybe I'll do a Facebook Live Monday for fun or Tuesday. We'll see. If you guys like these, let me know. Again, share this with a friend. Invite a friend. And if you have any topics that you would like me to cover on these Facebook Lives, please leave those below as well. Okay, you guys have a fantastic weekend. We'll see ya.